what's up everybody it's easy easy street gaming and yes we have a new game mode I'm calling it clash after dark bunch of new names for it it's the builder base mode it's the island it's the night mode it's uh, it's the new game but first thing don't forget about your old base wanted to show this attack ended up getting a crazy big attack for a little easy it's my smallest account so don't forget about your, your regular base uh, I know there's a, a lot of excitement about the, the new mode. I know there's been some complaining about it. I know there's all kinds of, you know, I know there was tons and tons and tons of hype. And some people think it was worth it. Some people uh, have kind of, have, there's been a little public outcry, especially about the loot cap. I'm going to hit a, all these little topics in this video right here. We've got to Builder Hall, Builder Base, Level 3. I don't know what to call everything yet. <laughs> and uh, got four accounts and I'm upgrading each each of the accounts differently intentionally uh, on, on one account I'm not going to invest any any money in gems at all and I'm, I'm just gonna take what the game gives me and uh, and with the loot cap in mind see how far I can get every day uh, just to kind of gauge how 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 fast you can progress naturally and then I've maybe spend a little bit of money and gems on some of the other accounts matter of fact if anyone knows how to write off some of this money that I've spent on gems on your taxes let me know because it, it got crazy for a minute <laughs> but <laughs> so build a hall three a lot of things I think that a lot of people have got to three already so I wanted to start off there um, by now you know that you can't advance until you pick up the defenses they're not going to allow you to make an engineer base. I think that the big problem that we've had in the main game, they've eliminated that right away. Now, I don't think that they're going to make you max out defenses, and that might alter the matchups or whatever. But I really think that the matchups are not going to be as big of an issue because I've had very fair matchups so far. Um, I would say maybe 1 out of 8 to 1 out of 10 matchups. I've got a mismatch where I was overpowered badly by my opponent. And maybe about the same 1 out of 8, 1 out of 10, where I have been the person to overmatch them badly. To where they really didn't have a chance. The rest of it has pretty much been tactics. And uh, there's a lot of tactics that, go inv that are involved with it. And what I've found is that people have kind of like regressed back to not knowing how to play at all. And most, like for example, in my main account, Ezekiel, I have a giant bomb on an unprotected part of the wall. And that has literally killed about maybe a third of everyone's army that attacks one out of three players will put all of their troops in at one time on top of a giant bomb i mean it's it's idiotic in the main game but people i guess are taking a minute to get adjusted to the new game which i get that so we're going to show a bunch of attacks here and a bunch of defenses too so we can kind of go over uh what i was thinking during the attacks what i was wh why why i put things where i put them on defense and just to clarify, I am no no expert at this yet. I know that there are already people out there that have mastered it. Seems like I mean, I watched the uh, I watched the YouTuber tournament and um, Itsu. Man, that dude is just crazy. And I uh, watched Chief Pat represent the U.S. Good job to Pat. Um, so there's going to be a lot of interesting gameplay. Uh, there's not a lot of pieces out there yet, so the the bases are kind of compact. And you have to be pretty particular uh, with your attacks. So what I would suggest is the first thing you keep in mind is sniping out uh, pieces. Because these games are being decided by percentage. Uh, most, of the, most of the gameplay that I've seen, and I've seen a lot already. A lot from my clan. I've just watched a lot. And most of the attacks are not three stars for the most part. And um, most of them are decided by just, just one building. So be mindful of where you put your troops. Um, the the overpowering technique where you'll put everything in one spot and just push them through. I know the game kind of instigates you to do that. The barbarians, for example, they get raged up and they go so fast at first and they do such high damage that I've seen so many people just put in all their barbarians in one spot and see how far they can go. I mean, that's just that's not a challenge to me. You might be able to do well for a minute, but that's not going to give you any kind of long-term help at all. So 
use intelligent play. Use use different pe like uh, also I I know the the archers, for example. If you are just starting out, if you're in level three, the archers are probably your number one troop. As far as um, uh, their capabilities, they outrange quite a few of the defenses. Uh, they outrange the crusher, for example. Um, I believe they outrange the archer towers when they are on fast mode. So just by that, um, they're a pretty big troop. So what I would suggest you do, when you, once you get into Builder Hall 3, there's a few things you want to do. First of all, you need to upgrade your uh, elixir storage right away. Now, this, while I'm saying this, this is the attack on on my base, and you'll notice that there's a reason why I put everything where I put them. I, there's several attacks I'm going to show on this base, so I'll get back to that in a second. Um, anyway, the first thing you want to do is you need you need to upgrade your elixir storages because the most important piece in Builder Hall 3 will be that third army camp. Um, you need you, you, right now you have two in the Builder Hall 2. You need to get that third army camp ASAP. That's going to give you a, a big time advantage over most of the other players, especially all the other new players. So definitely the most important piece will be the third army camp. You can't get the third army camp without up upgrading the elixir storage. So you need to save the loot, get the elixir storage, get it going as soon as as soon as it's upgraded. Start saving on your elixir and buy that third army camp. That's probably more important than anything else at this point. Then at that point, focus on one troop at a time. That's my suggestion. Um, if you upgrade everything evenly, I mean, that's fine, but it's going to take you a lot longer. So whatever your most important troop is, I would start off with it. So I would think that your archers may be the first thing you want to upgrade and max out in Builder Hall 3. Uh, and, and then use them wisely. Find defenses that are buildings that are unprotected and use the archers around the outside of the base to take out those those trash buildings or the defenses that can't reach it. Now you'll see here what I did is I started off by putting one barbarian in. I didn't know if there was a spring trap and seeing that there's only two giants in this in this camp, you, you don't want to have one of them sprung. That's 50% of that camp. So I put in one barbarian because I have five more. Then I put in the two giants and then I was able to break through the wall and get into the base as soon as I was into the base and distracting the defenses, then I put the archers in. I already knew that the archers outranged the crusher, so then I put one archer down there on the crusher, and then I just tried to push my way through the base as, as best I could. And you'll see, you know, I was thoughtful about it, but didn't get very far. I did get the star. Um, I, I, I don't know if I won the, the, the attack. If you get a star, you're going to win most of your attacks. I mean, honestly, especially at Builder Hall 2 and 3, just because other players are still learning how to play, they got 18%. I'll, I'll show the replay on this one, too. And see, when you look at the, this particular base, you don't see any defenses except for one little cannon outside the walls. So they think, that, okay, it's going to be pretty easy to overpower that one cannon. Then if I put some tanks up front and put archers in back, and th they what they did is they actually put the bombers in back, they thought they could outrange everything. You can't. <laughs> the bombers don't outrange the archer towers. Now, I like the bombers too. I use them. But you have to have tanks in front of the bombers. I think it's pretty cool that now you have wall breakers that are throwing the bombs instead. Uh, if you play Clash Royal, they're actually a pretty big troop in Clash Royal. They're, they're low hit point, but man, they can do some damage. So I'm sure that there will be a way to use those bombers um, intelligently. So, also... What I've found is the traps are very important, especially at these lower build a hall levels. And I've seen a lot of, <laughs> seen people get kind of cute with the traps where they'll use that push trap and they'll they'll spring the, pl the, the troop onto another push trap, which then in turn springs it to a spring trap. And then, so now you've seen the troop bounce over here and bounce over there and then sprung off the base. But the problem with that is that it looks funny, it's cute, but now you've used three traps on potentially one barbarian. And that's just not efficient enough to be able to defend your base. So what I would suggest is you use the push traps. If you have the crusher already, definitely spring them right onto the crusher. Because if, they are, if they're using archers or barbarians, then the crusher will kill them in the first, the, the, you know, the first um, impact. I don't know exactly what that attack is called. Um, but the first time it, it, it hits the ground, it will kill any of the single housing space troops. Uh, the giants... It takes a couple to, to hit the giants, but 
the way it's worked out on this base is they get they get pushed inside the, the walls of the base and then a bunch of the defenses point in they all start shooting at them if it's giants it doesn't take long for them to, for the giants to go down and if it's again if it's a single housing space troops like the uh, barbarians or archers they, they die as soon as that crusher hits the ground so now because I know that they are going to attack, you know, the builder hall is kind of exposed on that top left side, except for that one defense that they can see. So I put the Tesla up there because they can't see it, and that's a little surprise for them. And then they, if they come at me from air, you have the Tesla that attacks air, you have the Archer Tower that attacks air, and then you have behind it the Firecracker. It also reaches the outer walls. So if they take out the Tesla Tower and they take out the cannon over there, and they end up on Town Hall, that that um, that firecracker, it hasn't let an air troop take out Town Hall yet, not from that side. So it's important to think about what direction they're going to attack the Builder Hall from and make sure you have defenses behind it. It's just like the regular game where you'll see a lot of advanced players use Town Hall outside the walls and then they have big defenses behind Town Hall because it takes a minute to get through Town Hall. And then the defenses that are behind Town Hall are just hammering away at the troops. Same concept here. Make sure that you have defenses on the back side of the Builder Hall as well as the front side of it. Now here, this is a great example of this does not look like a very good base. It's open on both sides. I have no idea how they intend on defending. But just because we're at such a low level of gameplay here that the troops just don't last very long. You know, I... I and again, I'm kind of uh, feeling out a bunch of different strategies. Um, I have different troops I'm using on each account. This account, I've, uh, this is my smallest account. And what I'm doing is I'm trying different combinations of troops. So I'm trying not to use all archers. I've used all archers on one of my other accounts. And I've actually got further with just using all archers than any other troop. So if you want to get your trophy count up and you're trying to be as competitive as possible... Um, I think the archers will probably get you further than any one other single troop because you can get quite a few of them Especially once you get ten in each camp. I think it's ten in each camp. I have in one uh, account. I, I don't remember much <laughs> uh, Because they outrange so much and here I actually made a little tactical error I put the Giants in before the archers took out the crusher So it did get a shot in at the Giants and that actually that probably changed this entire attack if I if I didn't allow that crusher to hit, to hit those giants like that and they may have lived longer and then they could have tanked better for the troops that were coming around that corner right there instead I get the I get the star for the 50% but instead of me taking out town hall I couldn't get town hall or I'm sorry the builder hall because I let the crusher hit those giants so the crusher does splash damage again it takes out all single housing space troops in one shot So, let's watch the replay here. And again, now check it out. So, the replay, first of all, was only 20 seconds. So, you know that there's a problem with that. They put in all the troops within about the first four seconds. And, you know, don't like that tactic. Don't like that strategy. Really, what? unless you can somehow overpower one defense or one building and funnel all the troops into the base, you want to use the same tactics as you would on your main base yeah you know funneling is still part of the game you still want to uh, tank for your uh, damage specialists you know so you still have all the same basic principles that you want to use now here I'm moving uh, the spring the push traps around a little bit because it didn't put the troop exactly where I wanted so it's very important for you to watch replays on your base I know you don't have to watch them but um, watch every replay on your base See, look for the weak weaknesses, look for the strengths. You may in theory think, oh, um, okay, I put uh, a bomb here and a bomb there, and that will take care of those troops, and they may not be strong enough, and you may have weaknesses that you don't know about. So watch out the replays. Um, it's important. It's an important part of the, of the learning curve that you're going to have to go through. Now here on this attack, this is a pretty good example of using the right troops for the base. Okay, so... The first minute of every t of every attack, you can filter through the, tr the troops. You can change the troops. You can you know you, you can gauge the base and figure out exactly the, the troops you want to use. 
Now what they've done here, and they've made a big, big mistake, is they're actually building one of their defenses and they decided to attack. I know we do that while we're in playing Clash on the normal base, but you really don't want to do that while you're playing in this mode. Um, and especially because this right, right here was for loot. So once you've already hit your loot, loot cap, if you're building something at that point, you know, it's not as big a deal. But during the loot games, you don't want to lose trophies because if you lose trophies, you'll get you may get end up getting less loot for for your wins. So you want to maximize how much you get because you're only going to get three wins a day plus that bonus for the three wins. So you want to try to get as much as you can out of that. That's that's very important. <clears throat> and it's designed, you know, I've I've found that Supercell they're intelligent designers. I know at first everyone's raising hell about this this cap. But I think that there's a reason for it, and I think that if people were able to just farm like they can in Clash, everyone would have a maxed out base by now. And, and what, what fun is that? Uh, we want some diversity. We want players that, you know, if they want to pay for it, well, that's the investment that they make. So they've, they've kind of earned the max base. Now they're going to have to learn how to use it. For other players that want to go slow and work their way up to being maxed and learn on the, uh, as they get there, um... If you look at the player that's going to gem out to max and look how they play the first day that they're maxed and then watch someone that's slowly played their way up to max and watch how they play on their first day, I would suspect that the player that has taken it slow will be a better first day player as a max player. That's just what I think. Okay, so here's another attack on, uh, on Little Easy's base. What I've found is that I have moved this base around several different ways and I just you know this may not be permanent but I've noticed that <laughs> I you know, just cut myself off you notice I just moved those push traps and there goes the Giants right in there and they don't live the crusher crushed the giant that was in there crushed the, the barbarians that were against the wall the barbarians never got the wall open and now they're going around the outside of the base the Giants broke into the wall the crusher almost took out those two Giants but now, as the Barbarians are going around the outside, they still have fairly low hit points. So the defenses easily took care of them. And then they turned on the Giants and then, boom, gone. So, I'm going to keep this video kind of short. I can go on and on. I've got all kinds of things that I want to say. But for now, what I would suggest is try to take it slow. I know it's exciting to have a new game mode. But try to take it slow. Don't spend $200 on gems. But, you know, 20 is okay. That you that that's not too bad, right? <laughs> anyway, gonna have a lot more, a um, lot more coming up. Gonna put out a video every day on, on the new base and, uh, and and see where it takes us. So for those of you still watching till the end, I appreciate you guys. Uh, sub to the channel for me. Like the video if you like the video. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.